whole week. So if you're somewhere else, um, good for you. And if you're inside and you're cranking up your heat like me, but it's not doing the job, this is the perfect practice for you because we've got legs today, hips opening up, um, getting stronger and more mobile and working towards our peak pose of the week. Um, we got a couple different variations of um, dancer's pose. And with dancer, we also have variations of binds that we're gonna be working on and also getting into some standing balancing frog. So gonna have some fun today. Let's get started in child's pose. Wide knees, please. Fingertips forward. And deep breaths. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. Again, full breath in, full breath out. Drop forward to hands and knees. Inhale, cow, drop belly, lift gaze. Exhale, cat, round tuck and curl the spine. Inhale, cow, drop belly, lift gaze. Exhale, cat, round tuck and curl the spine. One more, inhale, cow, drop belly, lift gaze. Exhale, cat, round tuck and curl the spine. Come back to neutral. Right leg lifts up behind you, engage your core. Leg comes out to the side and then lower down. We'll take that a couple times. So back, out, and down eight. Seven, try and get full range of motion into your hip. Three, two, one, switch direction. We go out, back, and down eight, seven, six, five, a little crunchy there, four, three, two, one, lift the leg behind you and then cross the knees, sit back into cow face. Drop your head, deepen your inhales, deepen your exhales. Come up to tabletop, push back to wide child's pose again, a little bit wider with the knees. Lean your body forward. Left leg lifts behind you. Circle out and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one switch direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the leg behind you, cross the knees, sit back in the cow face leg. For three, two, one. Come back into tabletop. Inhale, cow, drop belly, lift gaze. Exhale, cat, round, tuck and curl. Come back to neutral, tuck your toes, lift your knees. Pause right here. Full breath in, push away on your breath out. Step to the outside of your right hand and then walk your left leg back a little bit, drop the knee down. And then just kind of lean forward and back a little bit, just working into the hip. And then from here, I want you to step back into that tabletop or plank, your choice. Left foot steps to the outside of your left hand. You can drop the knee, just kind of lean forward and back, just working and opening up. Step back to plank, lower down to your bellies. Wide cobra, tent the fingertips, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Plant your hands, push up to plank. Take your push-ups and flow through up dog and then down dog. And all the way back. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, step to a frog squat. So feet, mouth, distance apart. And you're just gonna kind of play here. You can always 
sit onto a block or onto a pillow. Move a little side to side, working into your hips, kind of feeling what's tight. All right, we got some fun S seat work today. Sit your butts low. Drop your right knee in, left knee out. So first F seat, 90, 90, right hand, left thigh. Inhale back through center. You're gonna try and lift yourself back up to frog. So you might have to use a hand to prop you up. Frog squat, drop your butts down, right knee out, left knee in, twist, look behind you. Back through center. You might use a hand to lift you back up into frog squat. Full breath in. On the breath out, drop your butts down, boat pose. So peace fingers to your big toes, widen the stance of your legs, shoulders down the back. Engage your core here for five, four, three, two, and one low boat pose. Pause here for four, three, two. Bend your knees, hover your knees right above your hips, okay? Now, soles of your feet together. Keep that same thing. I don't want your knees coming toward your body. I want you to take your hands to your ears and then lift your elbows toward your knees and keep your knees above your hips. Eight, seven. And there's a little bit more challenge. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay at the top, little pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, rock and roll forward and back. Come back into your frog squat. You might have to use your hands to get there. Good. Wide-legged fold. Let your head relax. Now walk your feet in together. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a forward fold. Softly rise to stand. Arms come above your head. Hands come to heart space. Let's take a moment. Thank yourself for showing up already. And then choose an intention that serves your practice. Inhale, lift your arms above your head. Take a back bend at the top, hips forward. Inhale, lift. And then swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hop in a frog squat. Hands to heart space. Left hand down, left foot steps back, low dragon lunge. Knee is lifted, gaze is forward. Dip your uh, hip and then lift your chest. Right hand is at heart space or you can reach it up and over for a little extra twist. Full breath in. Hands down, skandasana to your left. Go all the way over. So we're just warming up the hips, sitting a little deeper or lifting a little higher. Full inhale. We're gonna come back in a frog. Right knee bends, left foot steps forward. Inhale, sitting up tall. Right hand down, right foot steps back, low dragon lunge. If at any time your knees start to bother you, if you have any injuries, just don't go so deep. Don't go so deep. That's one thing I can tell you from having knee injuries. All right. From here, right knee bends, skandasana. Again, if this is too deep for you right now, come up a little bit higher and this is going to work more into the muscles rather than just the depth of the stretch. Bend the left knee, step into frog squat. Full breath in, drop the butts down. Right knee comes in, left knee comes out, a seat. Back to center, might have to use a hand, bring yourself back in a frog. Drop your butts, a seat, right knee drops, left knee drops. Back to center, lift yourself up, frog squat. This is working the mobility of your hips, you guys. Drop your butts down, boat pose. Peace fingers to your big toes, legs out wide, working the core, shoulders down the back. Lay onto your back, bend the knees, keep them over your hips, soles of your feet together, hands to ears, elbows toward knee. Don't bring your knees toward your elbows. If you can't touch your knees, that's okay. You're working towards eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock and roll forward and back. Come into frog, hands plant, hop back to plank. All right, take your push ups and flow up dog to down dog. All the way back. All right. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to frog. Sit up tall, full breath in. Drop your butts down. S seat, right knee in, left knee out. Back to center. Use your hand if you need to. Come back in a frog. 
Inhale, drop your butts, left knee in, right knee out, twist. Back to center, rise back up, frog squat. Drop your butts down, boat pose, peace, peace fingers to your big toes, shoulders down the back. Low boat pose. Bend your knees, soles of your feet together. Remember, over your knees, over your hips. Elbows lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock and roll for you and back. Come into frog squat. You might have to use a hand to get there. Nice, you guys. Bring your feet in together. Rise up to stand. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Frog squat. Left foot steps back, low dragon lunge. Hand is at heart or lift up. Skandasana to your left or lateral lunge if your knee feels a little too tight to go this low. Right knee bends, right back in a frog. Right foot steps back, dragon lunge. Hand at heart or lifted. Skandasana to your right. Left knee bends, frog squat. Sit up tall, full breath in, hands plant. You're just gonna hop to chaturanga. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop into frog. Sit up tall on your inhale. Drop your butts down, same thing, S seat, right knee in, left knee out. Back to center, maybe use your hand, prop yourself back up, frog squat. Inhale, drop your butt, S seat, other direction. Back to center, using your hand to prop yourself up, frog squat. Drop your butts down, boat, core. Shoulders down the back, you're getting better. Low boat, knees bend, knees over your hips, soles of your feet together, knees out wide, hands to ears, elbows lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, try and keep your knees stacked over your hips, three, two, one, hold at the top, this time arms to the outside of your hips, go right to left, penguin. Remember, keep your knees stacked over your hips, it's gonna help your low back stay glued down, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in, rock and roll forward and back. Come into your frog squat, however you need to get there. Yep, nice, you guys. Wide-legged fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk your feet in together. Rise to stand. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, hop to frog. Sit up tall, inhale. Left hand down, left foot steps back, dragon lunge, maybe right arm lifts. Skandasana to your left. <laughs> right knee bends, right back in a frog. Right foot steps back, dragon lunge, left arm lifts. Skandasana to your right. Left knee bends, frog squat. Hop right into chaturanga. All right, downward facing dog, take a full breath in, full breath out. All right, together, bend your knees, hop to frog, moving on past all these S seats. I want you to sit up a little bit taller, take a full breath in, come to your toes. Can you set the arms on the inside of your thighs? Push back, five, sit up a little taller, four, engage your core, three, two, one, heels come down. You're gonna step your left foot back for low dragon lunge and sink your hip a little bit lower. Nice, drop your back knee, swim your right hand around, grab for the foot. This is gonna help us later when we're trying to get into our bound um, pigeon variations. Kick back for three, two, and one, go ahead and release that. Hands plant, tuck the back toe, skandasana to your left. All right, from here, Sit up a little taller. Take your right arm up. Take your left arm out. Try and find a line of energy. Now slow and controlled. Right knee is going to bend lateral lunge. All 10 toes face the same direction. So all facing forward. Arms to the side or hands to hips. Your choice. Four. Flex your feet. Three. Two. On one. Bend both knees. Sit low into a wide horse or get lower into a wide frog. Now, for more like hip work, 
I would take your arms to the inside of the thighs and sit as low as you can while still pushing out. Three, two, one, rise up to star. Full inhale, right knee bends warrior two on your exhale. Bend your right knee. Now come high onto the right toes. Lift your heel. And then knee pushes out and back. Keep high on the ball of the toe and then the reverse your warrior. Lift your right arm, lengthen your side body. Four, three, two, one. Side angle pose, right arm on the inside of your right thigh. Keep onto the toe as you lift your left arm. Reach up and forward. Three, two, Triangle pose, drop the heel, set your right hand down on the inside of the thigh or a block, left arm reaches up, lengthen and lean back. Feel this nice little pull in the right groin. Three, two, low runner's lunge, hands the inside of your right foot, walk your right foot a little wider. And then from here, straighten both legs, cat lunge. So good. Now rebend your front knee, come into Shiva squat, hold right here. Bring your hands up to heart space. Heel toward your butt for four, three, two. Left knee comes in, peace finger to your left big toe. Extend the leg out wide and then just hold here. So out wide, if you can grab for the toe and straighten the leg, great. If you can't, bend the knee, it's okay. I want you to keep this toe grab, bend your knee, arm to the inside of your thigh, right hand to hip, fold your body so it's parallel to the mat, and then keep lifting your left leg here for four, three, two, and one. Send your left leg back for airplane. Bend your knee, heel toward your butt. For four, three, two, look behind you, step back, high lunge, arms above your head. Back bend and then bend your back knee, hover two inches from the ground, shoulders back, inner thighs spin in. And then straighten your front leg, lift your arms above your head. Hands come to the mat, low lunge, three-legged dog, right leg high. We're gonna come into wild thing or you can step into flip dog, bend your knees, both soles of your feet down, lift your hips. Four, three, two, come around and flow chaturanga. And down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, hop in a frog. Hands to heart, sit up a little taller. Full breath in, full breath out. Right hand down, right foot steps back. Low dragon lunge. Just kind of lean forward into this. Remember, we're just warming up still. So if we're not moving fast, it's because you gotta warm up the body. Drop the back knee, swim the left hand around, grab for the right foot. Big kick back. Last three, bigger kick, left shoulder down the back. Two, and one, go ahead and release that. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee, skandasana over to the right. And if it feels good, extend your right arm out, lift your left arm. Four, three, two, and one, bend your left knee, come into skater, all 10 toes face forward, and then extend your arms flat back. Yeah, so your toes are facing the edge of your mat. Three, two, and wide frog. So heels and toes out, hands the inside of your thighs. So for, uh, horse is a little bit higher. Frog, we're gonna try and sit a little bit lower if you can. Four, maybe you move a little side to side. Three, push against your legs, two, one, rise up to start. Inhale, really nice, you guys. Left knee bends, weird too. Come onto your left toes, lift your heel, and then drag your knee out and back. Shoulders down the back for four. Three, two, one, reverse. Lift your left arm, lengthen your side body. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Side angle, stay on your left toes, lift your right arm. Press your left arm to the inside of your thigh. So good, triangle, drop your left heel. Left hand comes down toward the inner thigh or maybe the ankle, maybe a block if you've got one. Feel that nice little stretch on the inside of your left thigh. Oh, slippery. <laughs> Hands come down to the mat for cat lunge. Lean yourself forward and then walk your left foot out just a little low runner's lunge, push your chest through. Three, 
to and straighten both legs. Now from here, walk your left foot toward the center and then bend your knee for Shiva. Holding here for four, three, two, and one. Pull your right knee in, stand up for balance, right piece finger to right big toe, send the leg out to the side. Yeah, really good. Here for four, maybe left hand your hip. Three, two, one, bend your right knee. Fold your body down to that halfway spot, pressing your arm to the inside of your thigh and your thigh back into your arm. We're gonna go bent leg airplane. Yeah, heel toward your butt, arm sweep back. Three, two, bending your left knee, softly stepping your right foot back, high lunge. And then bend your back knee, hover it two inches from the ground or as low as you can go without any pain. Right hip forward, left hip back. Shoulders down the back, back bend of your choice. Three, two, one, arms lift, straighten your back leg, hands to the mat. Three-legged dog, we're gonna go flip dog or you can take wild thing all the way around. For flip dog, bend both knees, lift the hips, drive the heels down. And bring yourself all the way around and flow, chaturanga. So good. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, hop to frog. Set up tall, inhale, big exhale. Left hand down, left foot steps back, low dragon lunge. Left knee drops, right hand grabs for the foot. Good release, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, skandasana to your left. Left arm reaches out, right arm reaches up. Gator lateral lunge, right knee bends, arms extend, all 10 toes face the edge of your mat. Deep frog, sink low. Rise up to star, inhale, nice you guys. Right knee bends, warrior two. Come to your right toes. Reverse warrior, stand on your toes. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, triangle on your exhale. Hands come down, cat lunge. Right knee bends, low dragon lunge. Exhale, straighten both legs again. Hands surround your right foot, Shiva. Left knee comes in, peace finger to your left big toe. Lift and lengthen. Out to the side. Bend your knee. Lean your body forward. Bent leg airplane. And then softly stepping back, high lunge. Bend your back knee, hover. Straighten, hands come down, three-legged dog to flip dog. Come all the way around and flow, Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, hop forward, frog. Inhale, sit up tall. Right hand down, right foot steps back, low dragon lunge, lift your left arm. Drop your back knee, swim, grab for your foot. Release. Tuck the toe, lift the knee, skandasana to your right. Bend your arms. Left knee bends, lateral lunge, arms wide. Deep frog. Rise up to star. Left knee bends, warrior two, onto the left toes. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose, still on your toes. Drop your heel, triangle pose. Right into our cat lunge, hands forward. Bend your knee, low dragon lunge. Straighten. And standing split to Shiva squat, hands to heart. Right knee comes in, peace finger to your right big toe. Leg out to the side. Bend your knee, fold your body down to that halfway spot. Leg slides back, bent leg airplane. Slow and controlled to step back, high lunge, arms above your head, bend your back knee, hover. Straighten, hands to the mat, three-legged dog to flip dog. And flow, chaturanga. So good. Full breath in, full breath out. 
One more before we build. Bend your knees, hop into frog. It's like a dance. Sit up tall, inhale, you've got this. Left hand down, left foot steps back. Drop the back knee, swim your right hand around, grab your left foot. Release, tuck the back toe, Skandasana to your left. Sink low, extend the arms. Right knee bends, skater, lateral lunge, arms extend, maybe come to the right toes. Right into your deep frog, bend your knees, heels and toes out, sink low, nice, Norma, rise up to star, inhale. Right knee bends, where to, onto the toes, exhale. Reverse, warrior, right arm lifts. Exhale, side angle. Drop your right heel, triangle pose. Hands come down, cat lunge. Bend your knee, lean forward. Exhale, straighten. Rebend, standing, split one breath in. Shiva, breath out. Left knee in, peace finger to your left big toe. Leg out to the side. Bend your knee, lean your body forward. Bent leg airplane. Soft and slow, step back, highland with a bent back knee. Lift the arms. Straighten, hands in the mat. Three-legged dog to flip dog. Notice your body is getting a lot warmer all the way around Chaturanga. Your hips are probably feeling a lot more mobile, not so sticky. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to frog. Sit up tall, full breath in. Full breath out, right hand down, right foot steps back. Low dragon lunge. Drop the back knee, swim around, grab the foot. Drop, tuck the toe, lift the knee. Skandasana to your right. Bend your left knee, lateral lunge, skater. Deep frog, heels and toes out. Rise up to start, inhale. Left knee bends, where to on your left toes. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Straighten your left leg, triangle. Hands come down for cat. Bend your knee, inhale. Straighten on your exhale. Standing split, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale. Right knee comes in. Peace finger to your right big toe. Leg out to the side. Bend your knee, lean your body forward. Bent leg airplane, heel back. Soft and controlled, step back. Bent leg, high lunge. Straighten, hands to the mat, three-legged dog. Flip dog. All the way around to flow. So good. All right, here's where we start to build. Bend your knees, hop to frog. Sit up tall. Now from here, I want you to drop your butts down. We're back in a boat pose. Straighten the legs, lean your body back. Now from here, low boat. Now you're gonna drop your head, keep your legs lifted, bend your knees. Now you take the soles of your feet together, you're gonna send the legs long. And then as you pull your right knee in, right elbow, right knee, and then send the legs long again. Left knee, left elbow, legs long. Pull the knees both together and then tap your elbows. Let's go again. So right, left, and both. Again, right, left, and both. Right, left, and both. Two more. Right, left, both. One more. Right, left, both. Rock and roll forward and back. Maybe using your hands to prop back up into your frog squat. Nice, you guys. Left hand down, left foot steps back, low dragon lunge. Drop your back knee, swim around, grab your foot. And this time I want you to kick into your hand and let it pull your shoulder down the back, externally rotating your right shoulder. Look back, look back, look back. Roll to the knife edge of your right foot. So good. Now bend your elbow, pull in, so the heel comes closer toward your butt. And then release that, tuck the back toe, lift the knee. Stand ass to your left. Now you're gonna get a little deeper into this bound variation. Left arm around the shin and right arm up and around the back. Look past your shoulder. Deepen your breath. 
So good. Now release your bun, bend your right knee. Come into skater. This time you're gonna come to your right toe and then extend your arms out to the side. Good. Now left hand toward your right foot, right arm reaches up toward the sky or right hand around to grab for the left thigh. Look past your right shoulder. You're still on your right toes. Three, two, one. Sit into your deep frog squat. Now from here, I want you to send the arms out wide or to the inside of your thighs, come to your toes. Five, four, yeah, three, two, heels down, rise up to start. That's how you build strong hips. Right knee bends where to onto your right toes. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle. Now from here, you're gonna drop your heel. If you have birds, you're gonna go straight into birds of paradise. Otherwise take a bound variation, left arm around or right arm underneath for that full bind because we need to get into this bind to be able to get into our variations of pigeon later. Here for five. Strong, let's go. Yes, four. Challenge yourself this morning. It's Wednesday, get over that hump. Three, beautiful variations, you guys. Two, and release your bound variations. Come into triangle, find your depth. So maybe it's a half bind, left arm around the back, right arm reaches forward, or maybe both arms reach forward. Five, find your core. Three, beautiful. Two, and one, hands come to the inside of your right foot, bend your knee. Pull yourself forward into that low dragon lunge. Exhale, straighten. Rebend, standing split. This time we take a bind, right hand, left foot, kick your knee up. Or you can take handstand if it's in your practice and you prefer to just get inverted. Otherwise, it's the bound variation for five, four, three, two, Shiva with a bind, left knee back of right calf, and then right hand stays to your left foot as you sink low, kick your knee back. Stretch out your left hip flexor, engage your core. A belly up and in. Three, two, and pull your left knee in. Okay. If you would like to go a little further down this, please finish your left big toe, leg out to the side, or you're going to try and backpack your left leg over your left arm while you're here. And then you can just stay like this, extend your left arm out to the side or start to straighten your left leg. If that's like impossible for you, remember peace finger to your left big toe. Okay, so if you have the bound variation, it's basically like birds of paradise. You're gonna go from here to bend the knee, grab for around the left thigh. All of us together, we're gonna try this one. Grab for around the left shin with your left arm and then pull it around and then right arm around the body. Flex your toe. If you want more, you don't fall out. You lean forward, maybe you fall out. It's okay if you do. And that's bound frog, you guys. So leaning down, grabbing for the front of the shin, for four, three, two, one. Go ahead and release that, rise up into balance. Okay, <laughs> set the left leg down for just a moment. We're gonna come into dancer pose, but I want you to get into it thinking about either you're pulling on the leg or the leg is pulling against your arm. And we're gonna kind of like work with both of those at the same time, okay? So you're gonna bend the knee, grab the inside of your foot, or you can grab for a flip grip if you're already ready for it. So we're gonna kick into the hand, that's one, and then heel toward your butt, pulling in. So we're back and then pulling in. So try and angle your left hip down, by the way. You don't want it to open to the side too much. Five, four, this is gonna help us with our bound variations as well. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, bend the knee, sink low. Bend the knee, either handstand, hop back, or just step back to that bent high lunge. So good, bent high lunge. Now, as slowly as you can, you're gonna drop the back knee and slide your right foot forward as far as you can go while dropping your hip. Now reach your arms behind you and up. You can take Anjanayasana, or you can bend the back knee, pull the heel toward your butt, lift and lengthen shoulders down the back. So you're stretching at your left hip flexor, getting into your upper spine, opening up through the heart space. Dropping your head back, trusting your balance for four, three, two, and woo, release. Not all of us are built for that one, but we're working on it. All right, so tuck the back toe, lift the leg, three-legged dog, right leg high. Come into your wild thing, flip dog, or you can go full wheel. Four, three, two, come all the way around and find your flow. Whew. You guys are so freaking strong today. 
this is not an easy one. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, hop to frog. Instead of tall, full breath in. Drop your butts down, peace fingers to your big toes. Extend, pull back. Yeah, getting better. See if you can pull a little bit higher. Elbows bend, lift, 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 lengthen. Yeah, nice Robin. Nice Sarah. Low boat, drop your head, hands to your ears. Right knee, right elbow. Extend, left knee, left elbow. Extend, both knees come in, tap. Extend, so we go eight, seven, yep, six, almost there, five, four, three, two, and one rock and roll forward and back, come into your frog squat. I used to take some moments sometimes. Right hand down, right foot steps back, low dragon lunge. Drop your back knee, swim your left hand around, grab your foot, and this time, I want you to kick into your hand and open up your shoulder. Kick, kick, kick. Four, three, two. Now pull your heel toward your butt using the strength of your arm, and then maybe even lean your body forward, rolling to the knife edge of your left foot. So that beautiful stretch. Go ahead and release that. Tuck the back toe, skandasana over to your right. Let's get into a bound variation. Right arm around the shin, left arm around the back. Look up, lean back. Sit down a little deeper. Yeah, so good. Hips are getting more mobile, stronger as we move. Release your bind, left knee bends, lateral lunge. And then from here, you guys, I want you to come to your left toes, extend the arms out. So you're on the left toe. Now work your right hand toward your left foot. Lift your left arm or take a bound variation, left hand around the back toward your right hip and then look up toward the sky. Drive your left knee out and don't let it collapse in. Come into deep frog, and then you're gonna sit as low as you can and come to your toes as long as it feels okay. Don't do something that's painful. If it feels like training, good. Pain, not so great. Three, two, and rise up to start. You guys are getting so low. Nice, Carol. Left knee bends away your two. Come to your left toes. Reverse your way, inhale, lift up and back. Side angle, you're gonna drop your heel or keep it lifted as you move your way into your bound variation or birds of paradise. And again, if you took it on the other side or maybe you were about to and then you're like, oh man, it's gonna be too much. Maybe you tried on this side, okay? Here for five, work, work, work. Yes, Tanil. four, I love it, Sarah, three. Yes, Carol, two, and we all release the binds. Let's take triangle, whatever variation you wanna explore. Maybe you take a half bind, right arm around the back, left arm reaches forward. Go for four, three, two, and release. Hands come down to the mat, cat lunge, cow lunge, and then exhale, cat again. Now let's bend the left knee, come into standing split with a bind. Left hand, right foot, kick your knee up, heel towards your butt, or take handstand if you feel like inverting today. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're right into Shiva squat, right knee back of left calf, and then kick back as you lift your body up, engage your core, right hand to heart space. All right, let's rise all the way up into balance. So again, you can come down the rabbit hole with me on this one, or you can just stay a little bit more traditional. So you're gonna either piece from your to your right big toe or wrap underneath your right leg like you would for Birds of Paradise and try and lift the leg extending it out. So it's totally up to you on where you wanna go with this or you can take a standing compass, grabbing for the outside of the foot and lifting, your choice. We're gonna move this into balancing frog in three. If you're in a bound variation like me here, we're gonna come into that standing frog in two. And one for balancing frog, wrap around your left sh right shin and then try and get your left arm around the back. You're either gonna point or flex the foot and then lean your body down so it's like halfway folding. Four, if you fall out, it's okay, get right back in. Three, two, we all release back to that bent leg airplane. Pull your heel toward your butt. And then let's rise all the way up into balance. All right, we're gonna take that dancer variation. If you want, you can use a wall. This is my really weak side, so to be able to focus on the bound variation, I wanna grab the foot, maybe even a little fingertip on the wall. The leg's gonna kick back and then heel toward your butt. 
So we go five. Remember, hip is not out, it's down. Three, two, one, holding here. Super slow and controlled, we come into Shiva. And then very slowly, standing split or handstand. And then look back, step back to that bent leg airplane or <laughs> bent leg low lunge. Now we're gonna bend the back knee, lower it all the way down to the mat, slide your left leg forward. So we're getting into that deep Anjaneyasana or low lunge, right hip forward, arms come above your head. Now, can you stay here or lift your back foot and then reach your arms out to the side? Maybe one day you grab for the foot, heel toward your butt. Super important to engage your right hamstring on this one, you guys. Core engaged, trust your balance, five. If you're shaking, it's probably because your body's trying to balance and it will balance, just focus, three. Keep reaching back, two, and whew, one, drop it down. Robin, I'm sure you were styling your foot with your head and your feet with your hair and the whole thing. Three-legged dog, left leg all the way around and you're finding your way into either flip dog or full wheel, anything that feels good for you. Four, three, two, and one. Come all the way around and flow chaturanga. And all the way back. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, right leg high. Bend the knee, stack the hip, big circles. Each direction, three, two, one. Switch direction, three, two, one. Right leg high, come into half pigeon right shin forward. Okay. Now, if you've never really done any of these bound variations, a really great place to start is actually with a block underneath your right hip, okay? So that's gonna give you elevation and it's also gonna give you a place to balance. So if you wanna take this and you already know your bound variations of pigeon, you can take king or you can take mermaid or whatever you fancy. We're gonna work on mermaid again. We did this on Monday. You're gonna bend your back knee. I want you to pull your heel toward your butt using the strength of your hamstring. Eight, seven, little pulses back. Six, chest lifted. Five, four, three, two, one, hold here for four, contract your hamstring, three, two, and then let that go. You can drop to your right hip. Now, eventually when you come into your balancing position, you're not gonna wanna be on your hip, okay? But when you start, you can, and then you're gonna elevate yourself back forward. So hips are facing out to start, and then hips facing forward to end, okay? So bending your back knee, look back, and then you're kind of going to be in this weird S seat. That's why we started with so many S seats. It's kind of like that, except an elevated back leg. Now you're going to take your right hand toward your left foot, pull on the toes, and then you're going to take your left elbow and sandwich it around your left foot. Okay, like, hi, here we are. And then let the hand go. The right hand comes forward, either to the top of your right thigh or prop yourself up with your right arm, lift up onto your right shin. You can stay here, maybe right hand to the nape of your neck, or you can lean back using your side body stretch and think about like reverse warrior. And then can you turn your chest to face forward and hips forward? Maybe it's not gonna be complete, but maybe one day it will be. Here for four, three, contract your left hamstring just like we started, you guys, it will help. Three, two, and let it go. I think almost everybody got into that one. That was amazing, well done. Let's just take it to the other side, simple into down dog, all the way back. All right, left leg high. When you're ready, bend your knee, stack your hip, take three hip circles. <sighs> and switch direction. Good, left leg high, straighten the leg. Bring the left shin forward this time into your half pigeon, okay. So again, either sitting on a block on your left hip or whatever you fancy, fingertips can either be forward or behind you. You're gonna pull your heel toward your butt, right heel toward the butt, lift your chest, not leaning forward, lifting, and then heel toward your butt like your spank. Spank, spank, spank. Eight, seven, six. Think about your hamstring contracting and using strength to pull in four, three, there you go, two, one, hold for four, three, two, and one, drop down. So roll to your left hip. If this does not work for you guys, try a variation that does. Again, it's not everything is like exactly the same in everybody's body, okay? Bend your back knee and then try and reach your right hand back 
grab your the inside of your foot. That's a really great place to start. And then left hand works to grab for your right foot. You can use both hands. There's nothing against that. Nobody said in yoga, you can't do a lot of different things, right? Right elbow grabs for the right foot. And if you're all wonky, you feel weird, that's totally fine. Set yourself up, left hand down toward the mat. You're gonna prop yourself up on your left shin and then directionally face your right hip forward. Contract your right hamstring and then lift your left hand up toward your nape of your neck and then maybe reaching back side body stretch like you would reverse warrior. And then can you push your hips and chest forward? Contract your right hamstring. That's really gonna help you with that full lift, four. It's gonna help you with that bind. Three, breathe, two, and release. Whew. Awesome job. You guys are amazing. We'll keep working on that this week. So if you didn't get it, don't freak out. We're gonna stay in S seat here, left shin forward, right knee out, right hand, left thigh. Directionally point your right hip down and right knee down. And if you want a little bit more, drop to your left forearm. Come back to your center. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Oh man, hips, baby, hips. Now again, if you want more, you can drop to your right forearm and then keep leaning back. Come back to your center. Take any easy seat. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, soles of your feet together, butterfly. Hands to the inside of your shins or to your ankles, elbows to knee. Press and lean down. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, elbows to knee around the spine. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold and around the spine. Last one, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold down, relax. Maybe reach your arms out to the side or forward, whatever feels good. Sit back up. Cross-legged seat, arms above your head, hands to heart. Take a moment, thank yourself for showing up. This good energy in you and around you. Hands at third eye center, we bow forward, sealing our practice. Thanks friends. Awesome job, amazing practice.